Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a very talkative and talk through makeup tutorial on this look. I'm using the Makeup by Mario. Um, this is the Master Metals eyeshadow palette and today I show you how I got this look using this palette. So if you're interested in seeing how I achieved it, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so we are just gonna get on through with this makeup tutorial, talk through makeup tutorial. Fresh roots, fresh cut, you guys. Do you like, do you appreciate? It wasn't really that crazy, just touched up my growth and a little snip snip on the end, so. Uh, but yeah, we are fresh and ready. Uh, just clipping back my hair so that it's not in the way. I have an idea of something that I want to do as far as my makeup but I don't I didn't really practice it or think it through that much I thought of something an idea I know that I definitely want to play with the Mario palette beca because I posted on Instagram and a few people were like you need to do a tutorial with that so I kind of wanted to do something with the shimmery pink and see how that goes. I haven't tried the pink. I tried the um, silver. It's actually like a bluish silver, so it throws really blue. But I'm thinking I want to do something with the pink just to see how that works. Um, so that's what I have in mind. I'm going to pop on some moisturizer. I've been really liking to apply my moisturizer before I do my makeup. Uh, so I'm using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. And I just use like half a pump, not that much, but just a little bit to moisturize the skin. I really like this moisturizer. It is so lightweight that I feel like it absorbs really nicely into the skin. That is nice. I'm also going to pop on some lip balm just to prep the lips. I'm using Smith's Rosebud Solve. So, um... Please don't, don't mind the burn on my chest. Funny story actually, I was cooking and, well I wasn't cooking, I was seasoning a pan. You know how you have like some skillets that every time you use it you need to season them with olive oil, get them real hot and season them with olive oil and it just splashed everywhere all over me. But I was, I didn't even realize that it was there um, when I posted my Instagram picture, obviously I noticed when it happened, right? But the other day I posted a picture on Instagram and it was of my makeup, you know, like I do. And I didn't realize that the the burn mark was in full bloom in that picture. <laughs> like it was right there. And it was hours later that I noticed. No one commented or anything on it. Thank thankfully no one commented on it. Um, now that I pointed it out, you'll probably go back and comment on it. But uh, it was hours later when I looked back at the post and I was like, wow, that burn mark is in full bloom. And a whole bunch of people had already seen the post, so I didn't think it was worth it to like take down the post and go back and redo it. So I just rolled with it. So um, while we let our moisturizer set or soak into the skin, I'm going to just um, do my eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go in with uh, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to take this nude skin uh, tone and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid and bring it up into my brow bone to sort of act as a base for eyeshadows. But yeah, you guys, I mean... The burn mark on my chest is like in a really weird area that everyone can visibly see so it's kind of like really hard to cover unless I wear like a really high neck shirt it, you'll see it so it's just a thing that happens you know be careful you guys so I'm gonna take a Morphe M441 brush and I'm gonna take this warm shade up here in the top and I'm mainly going to run that in the crease of my eye. This is going to be like our transition shade. My skin, I promise you guys, yesterday was Sunday. Today's Monday. Yesterday was Sunday and my skin looked so nice. And then I woke up this morning and I had a pimple in my, between my brows and on my brow bone. 
you know, it's just a thing that happens. It's just a thing that happens. Well, this pimple on my brow bone has been there a few days, but yesterday it was really um, flush with the skin. It's still, it's still pretty red right now, but um, it's it's slowly making its way out. But the one on my brow bone, I mean, sorry, the one in my in the middle of my brow was woken up this morning, and um, she's making a she's making a an appearance in today's video. So I don't want to build up the crease too much with this shade. Just kind of doing our transition, making sure that it's even on our sort of crease and brow bone area. Then with a smaller blending brush, this is a Morphe M433 brush. I'm gonna take the shade, um, this shade right here, which is like a, a nice a medium brown shade. And I'm actually gonna apply this all over my lid. I kind of wanted the pink to have like a really deep uh, background. Uh, that I feel like that'll just help it like pop really well. So to have like a darker brown in the background of a really shimmery, um, cool toned pink, I think will look pretty interesting. We shall see. I haven't practiced this or anything. It might look like total garbage, but we'll see. Usually I like to... I have done that before, you know, where I take a shimmer and put like a dark base under it and it really just makes it pop that much, but it kind of makes it look a little bit deeper and a little bit more unique. So as you can see, I'm applying the shade all over my mobile lid, but then I also work it into the crease just to make sure that we have that nice blend upwards and we still have some dimension going into the crease. So now that we have that kind of look, I'm just gonna go in back in with our first brush and the first transition shade that we use from the palette. And I'm just gonna make sure that the edges are blended out. So I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shade now. And if I wanna darken it, I will go ahead and do so later. Now this palette, uh, well this collection also comes with a mixing liquid. Um, it's the Master Metal Manipulator, so they usually recommend that you purchase this along with the Master Metals um, eyeshadow palette. So basically what you're meant to do is um, this little spatula thing comes with the mixing liquid. So if you just, you just are meant to scrape a little bit off. I can't show it and do it at the same time. But you're just meant to scrape it. It feels a little weird. You kind of feel like you're messing up the palette. But um, that's how it's meant to be used. So. so I just break up a little bit of the eyeshadow indentation there. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a little bit of that eyeshadow there and I just scraped off a little corner. So we take the mixing medium and I'm just going to put a few drops of this into the palette where I have the broken up eyeshadow. Then with the little spatula, I'm just gonna mix it through. And, well, it's pretty. So you just kind of mix it through. This palette, it has a little plasticky bit where it's meant to do that. And as you can see, we have this really pretty sort of metally uh, pink shade. That's really actually beautiful. So. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on my lids now. I'm gonna use my finger to apply the uh, liquid that we just made now, the liquid eyeshadow that we just made, because I feel like it will look better, apply more opaquely, I don't know, but we shall see. But I'm gonna take my ring finger and I'm just gonna pop it on the center. The eyelid. Whoa, that is so pretty. I have this weird bump on my eye that's making a uh, a stay here as well, but it's barely noticeable, so I don't really care about her. Oh, that is so pretty. That liquid just makes it like really metallic and kind of sort of wet looking, super shiny. And then I barely have any product on my finger, but I'm just gonna 
go around the edges to make sure everything is nicely blended. I mainly tried to focus that shade on the inner, the uh, middle part of the eye because I want to apply a nice highlight shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm just going to take a small blending brush um, and I'm just going to go around the edges really quickly just to make sure and aid in the blending process. The light just, it just picks up the light so gorgeously. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. I got too much product here, but I got too much product there. So I'm just going to apply some there. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, that is actually gorgeous. And a little product goes a long way because as you can see, I just did both of my eyes and I still have, you know, quite a bit of product here that I can even like layer on a little bit more if I wanted to. If I wanted it to look really opaque in some areas, you could just layer it on. And it just kind of layers on really nicely. At this point, I'm just applying it all over my lid. I know I said I'm applying it on the middle of my lid, but at this point, I'm literally just applying it all over my lid because I have product to play with and I kind of just, I kind of just love it. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Here right back, I'm gonna clean off my hands and the palette really quick and I'll be right back to finish. So I actually think that it looks pretty how it is. I don't want to darken it too much because the thing is is that with this eyeshadow, since it's like a metal, it has a lot of depth to it. So when you look straight on, it looks a little darker on the outer corners and then lighter where the light hits because of that depth that it has. And then when you move around, the light hits it in different ways. So I kind of don't want to darken it too much because it's kind of pretty just on its own. If you want to be a little bit more dramatic, you could apply a darker shade in the outer corners. Um, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just sort of making sure everything is blended out. Uh, and I'm gonna leave the eyeshadow at least as far as darkness like that. I am gonna apply a inner corner highlight a little bit later, but as far as the mobile lid, we're leaving it like that for now. I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna take this MUA um, angled brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of the black from the palette. I'm just gonna line my top lash line, not too crazy, just like a thin line because I wanna apply some brown eyeliner on the bottom and I don't want the black to take away from the brown. I feel like a brown would complement this eyeshadow but I did want to put on some eyeliner on the top lash line just to aid with a little bit of depth in the lash line. So not too crazy with the top liner, just like a little bit to add some depth there. Alright, so I have a little bit of fallout. I'm just going to take a little bit more of my moisturizer, just like a pea size because I had a little bit of fallout on this side of my face and I'm just going to use it to wipe it away like since it's a little bit emollient I can just use it with my finger to wipe away that is that um, let's move on to the face really quickly I'm going to apply some of the rare beauty uh, illuminating face primer but I've really been liking just applying a small amount to the outer portions of my face to sort of help add a nice glow to the outer portion of the face. So I mainly focus it on my cheekbones and around my forehead. Not really in the center of my face, just to help sort of add a little more glow and aid our highlight. Maybe a little bit. If I had some left over, I'll probably run a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to take, um, I'm just going to go in with foundation because I feel like my skin doesn't really look too, uh, my skin doesn't really look too bad recently. So I'm going to just pop on some foundation. I'm taking the Rare Beauty foundation. I use it all the time. One of my current favorites. And 
I'm gonna take my beauty blender that's a little bit damp and I'm just gonna run it over where I just did my foundation just to make sure everything looks seamless. Have any of you guys picked up the Mario uh, products? Right now I only have the metals palette and the lip palette. Um, but I'm interested in seeing if anyone has picked up anything different and what their thoughts are. So if you've picked up anything else, let me know what your thoughts on it. Alright. So now that we've got our base down, I'm going to pop on some concealer. And I'm using the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade... 200C um, and I've actually been uh, doing this technique that I saw someone on Instagram do where they applied their concealer and just like waited for like a couple of minutes and apparently it amps up the coverage of the foundation because it kind of sets a little bit which I thought was interesting so I've been trying it out to see how it goes so in the meantime I'm just gonna leave it as is you know fight the urge to blend it out immediately <laughs> and I'm going to just get some powder onto my palette here so that I can get ready to set. I'm using the RCMA no color powder and I just apply a little bit onto my palette, not a whole lot. And now we wait. I don't wait necessarily a whole lot of time because I feel like I'm a little bit OCD about it so I'm not going to wait a whole lot of time to blend it out. Probably like a minute is what I wait. I'm gonna blend it out with my damp beauty blender. And it actually really works. Like if you feel like there's a concealer that maybe doesn't have as much coverage as you'd want it, you'd want it to, you can try out the technique. I find that it actually works pretty well. I probably don't wait as long as other people, but just giving it giving it a minute to set really just makes sense that it would add more coverage because it's setting onto your face all right so i'm gonna go in with my brush and just a little bit of powder I'm dusting it off and i'm gonna set my under eyes to make sure our concealer is set and i also in the areas where i have like maybe an acne or something like that i kind of like pat with the brush just so that i don't move the foundation under so after everything is even and set i'm going to take my l'oreal true match powder um and this is in the shade w6 which is a few shades darker than i just made a huge mess oh my god all right so i just had to go off camera and clean here because I made a huge mess with this bronzer powder because I've been using it smashed it's been smashed for a while and I was using it smashed I just kind of like opened it very carefully and got some from the lid when I went to use it but for some reason today I opened it a little carelessly and all the smashed bits just fell onto my lap so I was able to salvage some of it not all of it fell so I was able to salvage it but um, She's reaching her end. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a large um, round brush like this one. And I'm gonna take some of the powder that is on the lid. <laughs> and I'm going to just sort of lightly bronze the perimeters of my face. If you're someone like me that has maybe a little bit more texture, te texture or um, areas of dark spots, it's a good idea to when you apply your face makeup to do like a stippling action like this when you apply even your bronzer because if you get into the habit of swiping on you can actually disrupt the coverage of your foundation under so if you have like a little bit of texture or pigmentation it's just going to wipe off some of that coverage and then you'll start seeing more of whatever you're trying to cover with your foundation and concealer. So I've been really getting into the habit of stippling instead of swiping, even with my bronzers, because it does 
alter the coverage even you might not notice it at first but if you give it a try you'll see that the coverage just comes out better when you pat instead of swipe I'm gonna run some on the side of my nose also just to add some light color there so this is um, a light bronzing I am going to amp up the bronze a little bit uh, but if you don't like super bronze then you can leave it like this if you'd like I'm gonna take Bahama Mama bronzer from the bomb just to amp up my bronze a little bit more because I like I like bronze I like bronzer bronzer is probably one of my favorite things to do with my makeup it just adds life back to the skin and also don't forget to take your bronzer down your neck as well you know if your face is looking bronze you want your neck to look bronze as well I also went ahead and wiped off some of my lip balm because I still had some residue and I don't like to have that balmy residue when I do my lipstick so I went ahead and wiped it off at this stage my lips are hydrated but I don't like them to be too hydrated and then by the time we get to the lipstick it'll be you know everything will be soaked in so I went ahead and removed that I'm going to do my blush now I'm using the bomb cabana boy blush and I'm gonna take this on a morphe m405 brush this is a really nice mauve pink shade so I feel like it complements the eyeshadow again as you can see with my blush I'm doing the padding motion to not disrupt the coverage also and then it also ensures that the brush disperses the product evenly I'm using a lot of the bomb products but I really like products from the bomb I feel like they're really um, inexpensive and pretty great so I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer from the bomb as well to uh, highlight my face and I'm taking that on a Morphe M510 and I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and take a little bit on my brow bone I'm trying not to bring it up too high in my brow bone here because I have that blemish I don't want that blemish to be highlighted so I stay away from the highlighter there a little bit on the bridge of my nose I can take it up here on this one because this one doesn't have anything and then balance it out here so then I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush this is a Sigma pencil E30 and I'm taking that same highlight Mary Luminizer and I'm just gonna pop that on the inner corners of my eyes and I'm gonna bring it in and blend it in with the eyeshadow slightly and then I'm also gonna take just a little pinch on the tip of my nose a little bit on my brow bone I'm sorry my bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow all right so to finish off the eyes I'm gonna take this Mac um, technical liner in the shade brocade which is a really nice golden brown and I'm gonna run that on the waterline of my eyes so I just gently press down like this and run that on my waterline I also like I'm gonna run it slightly into my lash line and then I'm also gonna run that on my tight line of my eye as well all right so now that we have that and as you can see it looks really pretty it accentuates the pink really well so for my bottom lash line I'm just gonna take that shade that we used before the brown from this palette and I'm just gonna smudge that on top of where we applied that line on the bottom lash line and then also just bring that up slightly into the top lash line and then I'm gonna take the brush the blending brush with no product on it just to make sure everything is blended and then I also like to just make sure the bottom is blended or connected with the top that is the eyes almost done all we have left is mascara there but i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows really quickly so for my eyebrows i'm just gonna um brush them out with a spoolie 
And then I'm going to take this MAC Eyebrow Styler in the shade Lingering. And I'm just going to lightly feather in my brows. Just to finish off the brows, I'm going to go in a little bit with some brow powder. And I'm taking a Real Techniques Angled Brush and the NYX Cosmetics Eyeshadow um, Eyebrow Cake Powder, I mean. And this is in the shade Taupe. Um, and I just like to go in slightly with the brow powder just to make sure that everything looks um, even. Just lightly, mainly in the bra in the tail of the brow because I feel like the tail of my brow is not as sharp. It's a little harder to get um, a sharp shape there, so I just kind of going with the powder to add a little bit more depth and and also i feel like when you go in with brow powder it adds like a little extra dimension to the brow which you naturally have all right so not too crazy with the brows just a nice fill um again i want the main focus of this to be that metallic eye so not too crazy with the brows just a little something to frame it and then i'm gonna pop on some mascara i'm using maybelline the falsies mascara and I'm going to pop this on my top and bottom lashes. All right. So with that, the eyes are officially done. Let's go ahead and do some uh, lipstick. I'm going to take the shade Velvet Teddy from MAC that I've had for a long time. Look, I'm at the edge. But I'm going to take the shade Velvet Teddy. And I'm just going to apply that as the first lipstick that we use. And then over top, mainly in the center, I'm going to take Kylie Cosmetics Butterscotch Cream Lipstick. And I'm going to just gently pat this on the middle of the lips. Just to add some lightness there. Alright, and with that, we are done with the makeup look. So I'm just gonna let go of my hair. So all in all, you guys, this um, eyeshadow palette is really nice. I also have the lip palette from Mario. I didn't use it in this video because I, I totally forgot. But if you guys wanna see it in another tutorial, let me know. I can definitely use it if you guys wanna see um, the lip palette in more detail. I can definitely show you guys if you'd like. For now, we'll just keep the main focus on the eyeshadow. The eyeshadows are really pretty. They have a lot of depth to them, a lot of shine. That sort of couture style metal eyes that you have. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Um, the products used will be linked down below. Some of them may be affiliate links from which I earn a small commission off your purchase. You don't have to use them, but they're there in case you want to. It does help support me and my channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.